Hi everybody, um, I'm going to show you, I'm going to share actually a few cool steps how to make a balanced, good looking cocktail uh, made with local ingredients. My name is Rob Rademaker, I'm working for Luxury Hospitality and today as maybe you can see I'm working from Santorini. Um, what is in Santorini? Well, they have a big, big winery. Uh, we got loads of local grape varieties and there's actually a distillery and the distillery is called Canava. They make uh, Tsikudia and Tsikudia is a grape distillate. Maybe you can see it right there. It's a grape distillate um, made from wine. So first you get wine, uh, you take the wine, you distill it four times in copper pot stills and what you collect is a smooth yet complex liquid which we call Tsikudia. Uh, I'm going to use this as a base. Uh, but before I'm going to start telling you more about the ingredients, uh, we're also making cocktails, right? So that means that um, I'll tell you some basic steps. First of all, let's put this away on our uh, improvised bar station here. Uh, the glass, right? If we use a glass, make sure that it's as cold as possible. So that's basically the first step that you're going to do. Uh, this glass I found in a small shop up in, in the mountains here. And what you can see, it's a crystal glass. Inside you have the reflections of the wave and obviously the blue color of the blue skies and the blue of water. So step number one, local and local. Make sure it's cold, right? I have some ice ready right here. Also with some water, it's 30 degrees Celsius at the moment, so it's pretty warm. Get that puppy cold, put it on the side, just like that. Um, and then the shaker. So first ingredients are, let me put this away so you can see what I'm doing like that spirit this is the base we're going to use 50 let's do 60 milliliters make sure you use jigger there you go you see I'm not using ice first because if I use ice first I have a big chance that I get a lot of melting water in the drink and you don't want to do that right so ingredients goes in take this away keep that for the private stash there you go uh, second ingredient is I found some honey, which I'm not sure if it's local, but I found it in a local shop. And two different types, infused with orange peels and infused with lavender, which is a herb that grows on the island uh, in, in large, large numbers. When you drive around there, it's super aromatic, uh, very tasty, and super rich in aroma, the, the environment here. So let's use it, lavender infused honey. I already diluted this down a little bit because if you have honey in your cocktail uh, it usually doesn't dissolve pretty good right so we got one and a half bar spoons there you go one and a half bar spoons of honey that's the lavender then also with the orange peel infused this is our sweetening agent and the sweetening agent needs to be balanced we have our spirit and last but not least we're going to balance it with something fresh which is lemon make sure to cut your lemon in half before you start squeezing the lemon you need to give it a good massage maybe with your elbow because of coronavirus there you go cut it in half we massage it so we get more juice out of there there you go then we got a cool tool which is the squeezer or the Mexican elbow they also call it let me put this down just for safety guys because maybe you didn't see it but there's a huge drop down on a cliff right behind me so safety first lemon goes in always measure we have a uh, half a part of sweet and then we do a full part of uh, sour in this case that's the lemon I'm going to shake the peel as well in the drink there you go so 30 milliliters of that fresh lemon juice make sure it's all in there, put that away. Sweet is in, sour is in. We have our spirit is in there. So we have this grape distillate, we got this fresh lemon notes. Let's make it a little bit more complex. Um, near the hotel that we're staying at, I found some fresh Greek basil. The basil you might know is the larger leaves that you buy in the supermarkets. Uh, these are very tiny leaves, super aromatic. Uh, again, it grows everywhere here. But it's really cool of this basil also. There you go, full hand goes into the drink. Not too much, you don't want to overpower the spirit. Um, the drink becomes green as well because the basil, the basil uh, 
um, releases a lot of uh, color as well besides aroma so fresh lavender leaves guys super aromatic and because the ice will be pounding against the, the herbs all the aromas will be uh, released as well so get that in there double check if I have everything yeah quick quality control that's gonna be great when the basil is in there all right guys time to ice it up let me get rid of the melting water so fill the drink up just like that Go all the way to the top give it a good shake 10 full seconds full power one two three four five six seven and eight nine and ten open it up just like that and get it into the glass as fast as possible take that out get rid of the water there you go take our strainer and a fine strainer to get some small chunks out of there there we go pour it into the drink you see it's nice and green colored get rid of this get rid of that get rid of this that and that and last but not least i'm using one shell of the lemon inside the shaker for the aromatics the other shell i'm actually going to take a little bit of the peel there you go and we're going to perfume the drink right so by spraying this on top of the cocktail just like that we get nice oils in there it smells super super amazing let me give it a good taste it's super balanced i can taste the herbs and spices but i have a surprise which is olive oil believe it or not we're going to put it into the drink uh, this is also a local olive oil infused with botanicals and spices we see pepper we see cinnamon we see sage we see uh, even chilies are in there a few drops on the top will float just like that on top perfect which will give you a super silky uh, taste on the lips and uh, yeah it, it looks amazing as well and makes this drink 100% Mediterranean or in this case Greek because that's what we like last but not least the fresh lavender on the side and ladies and gentlemen that's how you make a Santorini Martini Cheers!